So hopefully you guys can tell the difference in the photo quality here or video quality. I got a new vlogging camera. Um, I got the Sony ZV-1, the original, in white because I wanted a white camera. But honestly, I got so tired of this thing never focusing right, just being a pain in my butt. Um, <laughs> the Sony ZV-1 is slightly bulkier because the, flips, the screen flips out instead of like just flipping up like this one. Um, but this is actually a lot heavier. Um, obviously this has the flash and that one doesn't, but that doesn't bother me. I'm not using it for photos like most people are right now. Um, the other thing I love is as you can tell, my face looks nice because this has a skin blurring effect. <laughs> but otherwise, I am really loving this camera so far. Like, it's got the product showcase, which focuses so well. I love that. Um, but also what I wanted to tell you guys about today was my exciting new thing in addition to this which is I got another lens for my Fuji and I'm really excited about this. This is the 56 1.2. Again, got the original. So here's what it looks like. And it is a huge lens, but it's not that big. So if I were to compare it to the small 50 millimeter or the 35 millimeter that I have, it's actually not that much bigger than that and it's a lot smaller actually than the Viltrox 85 that I have and sometimes that's just too much zoom for me this is more of a like this is like an 85 kind of so it also has a 1.2 f-stop and that's what I really wanted because I want to get as close to it looking like a full frame depth of field as I can and that's that or I know there's the new 50 1.0 but I don't really want that one and it's way more expensive and it's huge and heavy this is like still a good weight to go on an xt32 for me so I really like it. I already took a few photos of it and I think it looks really sharp, really good. The focusing is kind of terrible on it, like just getting it to, and also the focus distance is part of that. I keep trying to focus on close things and go, oh right, it can't do that. But I already knew that going into it because I watched a lot of videos, did a lot of research. The, I think they made two more versions of this. I'm not sure what the one in between is. It had some weird letters after it. <laughs> but the newest one, they improved like the autofocus. I think it's weather sealed as well, which this one's not, but my camera's not weather sealed, so it didn't really matter to me to have weather sealed lens with it. Again, it was all based on I wanted it for the price and just to have this beautiful um, bouquet that it's gonna give me on doing like some portraits and things. Like I wanna take this when we go maybe to Disney again this year, even though barely used my X-T30 last time. But I feel like if I had a good lens, like the 50 was great, but it was almost too, um, it just didn't give me quite enough when I wanted those really portrait looking style photos. And this really would without giving me too much extra weight and uh, like mass. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, but I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I'm really already impressed with the photos. I know the focus is not the best on this. I'm aware of that. But you know what? I'm still excited about it. So these, this new lens, as well as this Sony vlogging camera and obviously my Fuji are coming with me to our trip to Disney in September and I'm really excited to use them. I am hoping my X106 will be in by then because I keep asking and they keep saying we haven't gotten any in like six weeks but they keep telling us they're on their way in. Like the guy was like we are supposed to get like 12 units in any day now and it's been six weeks since Fuji told them that. So even they're getting frustrated. <laughs> but I'm hoping it comes in soon. I still have a month-ish left till my trip, so really hoping it's soon because I would love to take that camera and be able to try out like maybe some videos at Disney on it and just would be nice to have the higher quality camera even though I know it's not gonna be a huge difference over my X100V. But, so I'm excited. That's all my updates for today though. I really just wanted to test out how this uh, camera is working for me and just see how the quality is. I can plug a microphone into it, that does work. I just don't right now. I'm using the straight out of camera audio right now and honestly that's fine with me most of the time. I don't like wearing lab, mic lab mics and that's what I have. So it is what it is. I have a boom mic. I just don't think it works very well. So we'll see. 